Okay, so it's been a year yeah. since we lost Matthew Perry. A year. And, uh, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, everybody remembers really? where they were when they heard about it. I know, I do. Social media just exploded. Oh, yeah. I mean, everybody was posting tributes. Absolutely. And I think Jennifer Aniston's post. Yo! With that throwback picture. Oh, my God. And a little caption one year with the emojis. Yeah. Just kind of summed it up for everyone. Really did. But kind of a dark story behind all that absolutely <laughs> there's this legal case that's been going on uh-huh so today we're gonna do a deep dive okay let's do it into what happened to matthew perry yeah the ketamine queen wow addiction social media right all the stuff big topics yeah it's really a story that goes right. way beyond sitcom way beyond yeah so yeah. this is gonna be good all right so matthew perry yes Obviously, we all know him. Of course, yeah. Chandler. It's Chan from Friends. But his career actually uh, yeah. went beyond Friends. Oh, absolutely. He was in... Movies, other shows. He did a lot. But, but sadly, he also... He struggled, yeah. Had a long struggle with addiction. Yeah. Which is what ultimately led to his yeah. passing a year ago. Right, and this is where things get really interesting. Yeah. Um, Because when we look at the circumstances yeah. surrounding his death... Uh-huh. This name keeps coming up. Like, Jasmine Sanga. The ketamine queen. The ketamine queen, exactly. Okay. She's so a... she's facing some serious charges. Right. Um, she's accused of supplying the drugs. Wow. That contributed to Perry's death. So we've got this situation mm -hmm. right. where on Instagram, yeah. this woman is all about the glam, living the high life, luxury travel, private jets, hanging with celebrities, designer clothes, the whole nine yards, the whole thing. Yeah. But then uh, uh, allegedly totally. she's running a drug stash house right out of North Hollywood in North Hollywood. Wild, isn't it? It really is. I mean, it shows how drug dealers yeah. are really good at using these platforms. Right. Yeah. I mean, Instagram becomes this tool uh -huh. for building a brand, right? but not a brand of like clothing cool. or, yeah. you know, makeup or something like that. Yeah. It's a brand of a lifestyle yeah. that's connected to the drugs that they're pushing. So you think you're just yeah. seeing somebody's right. amazing yeah. life. Yeah, just living it up. But you have no idea right. what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, and it's really insidious yeah. because they're targeting yeah. a younger audience. Right. They're creating this illusion right, yeah. of glamour around <laughs> a really dark reality. It really makes you think. Doesn't it? About everything you see right. when you're scrolling through Instagram. You absolutely get caught up in it's the like, envy. So evil. In the comparison. Yeah. To just get caught up. Keeping up with the Joneses. Yeah. Totally. But we don't see the cost of all that. Exactly. We don't that. see the consequences. Yeah, the potential darkness yeah. lurking beneath the surface. For sure. So this case really, I think, uh, uh, goes beyond just yeah. these individuals. Beyond Sangha. Right. Beyond Perry. And it makes us think about how society yeah. views success yeah. and happiness. What do we think? Are we too quick to equate Are we? material possessions and online popularity? With being happy. With real well-being. Right. You know? Good question. And Matthew Perry's family yes. has spoken out they about wanting account. justice. They want accountability. Yeah. Yeah. Especially his mother and stepfather. Right. They've said that they're relieved. Yeah. That Song is being held accountable. And they hope this sends a message. Yeah. They want to see I do. real legal consequences right. for people who supply yeah. these dangerous drugs. Yeah, you can really feel the yeah. family's pain yeah. and their determination. Definitely. And they give these statements. So from a legal standpoint, right. she's facing some big charges. Serious charges. Yeah, possession with intent to distribute. Wow. And it could even go as far as manslaughter. Oh wow. It'll be interesting okay. to see if the prosecution can actually prove yeah. her direct culpability mm -hmm. in Perry's death, yeah. which will be a challenge. Yeah. But there is precedent okay. for holding people accountable uh -huh. in cases like this. Like, so, yeah, the trial's coming up in March. Wow. Should be interesting to watch. Definitely going to be following that. Yeah. And it makes you think about, it does. You know, as a society, how yeah. we deal with. Addiction. Addiction. Because on one hand, mm -hmm. it's a disease. Right. It requires compassion. Compassion, yeah. Support. Good treatment. But then on the other hand, yeah. there has to be. There's got to be. Accountability. Accountability, yeah. Especially for the people. Especially those. Who are profiting. Who are profiting. Yeah. 
from other people. From the struggles, it's it's just it's a tough, a really tough balance. It really is. So Matthew Perry, yeah, brought so much laughter to so many people, to millions of people, millions, yeah. But his story, yeah, is also this reminder. It is of the human cost, yeah, of addiction, absolutely. And I think so too. His passing and then Mm -hmm. this legal battle, yeah, that's followed. That we're watching really force us. They do to confront. Yeah. Some hard truths. Some uncomfortable truths. Yeah, about the dark side of yeah. fame. Of fame, yeah. The allure of social media uh-huh. and this public health crisis. Right. That we're in. This huge problem. It's a huge problem. Yeah. And I think it reminds us. Absolutely. That we need to look beyond. Yeah. These carefully constructed images that we see online. Online. Yeah, because. Everybody. Everybody. Even people who seem who seem to have it all could be fighting hidden battles. Yeah, and I think it yeah. challenges us to yeah. think critically, to really it's think not that the things we see, messages, and the value that we're changed. if we prioritize. Yeah, as we're trying to, as we're trying to find happiness, find happiness. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so I think oh. I'd love to hear. Oh, would too. What our listeners think? Yeah. What are your thoughts? How can we yeah, better? Can I... Address the dangers yeah. of substance abuse. Of addiction. But also, yeah. you know, advocate for the people. Mm-hmm. For those who need help. Who need help. Yeah. And hold the people. And those who... Who are exploiting them. Who exploit them accountable. Accountable. Yeah. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know 